Returning to more Metroid Prime Remastered. What's up everyone, I'm Shade Knight. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime Remastered. In the last part, we faced off against the Omega Metroid and got access to the Phazon suit. A unique suit, unique to this game. In this part, we're going to continue on. Because we went back to the save point because A, I wanted to just get to a save point quickly and not take too much time getting in the previous part. Let me out, I say! One thing about this game that I do not understand is how long the loading screen is. And more baby missions, of course. Hey! 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 There! Last hit, Metroid. Anyway, we're gonna just continue on our journey. We have one thing we can do in this area. Oh, uh, what the? Oh, you son of a gun. Go away! I do not care for that game. So there's one thing I need to grab before we head off to the next area. There is something inside that quarantine access B area that we need to go to. So, I want to go in there and get that out of the way. And as you notice, every area as before now has a lot of Metroids. So, you're going to have to be realistically running to them a lot. So, keep in mind on your missile tank, because otherwise, you're not going to exactly be able to do much damage to them. At all. Because Metroids are only weak to the Ice Beam. Oh, hi. How's it going, buddy? Bye. Now, there is some gripes with this area, but I'll get into that later. Hey. Dude. Whoa, no. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Whatever. It worked. Unironically enough, that worked. And we got our missile tank back up, which is very good. All right, let's switch back to the plasma beam. We are going to need that to go through the store. Nope, not, that's not it. Hey, dude, thank you. Really? Oh, right, new Metroid type. Forgot to explain, this is actually a new type of Metroid. Fission Metroid, the worst enemy in the game, bar none. Metroid's ability is split into two forms. Fission Metroid is a mutant, capable of splitting into two. This split endows the new creature of invulnerability and most weaponry. The effect is unstable, resulting in weakness of a type of fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of the phase on mutagen. Yep. This is again 75% of the New extras. Get off. As you can tell, it's split. Ah, what the? Okay, what's hitting me? Alright, something's hitting me, and I don't know why. Please tell me I'm not crazy. You saw something hitting me from the door for no reason. That is... Oh, it's a ceiling hitting me for no reason. Oh, great. The game bugged, so as a result of that, the entire area over there is booby-trapped. That is so blasted weird, and I am not a fan of it. Alright, we're just gonna rush to the next part of the area I need to be at, because... There's actually one place I have to be at in order to get access to, say... Something we're gonna need for the future. Purple to purple. We're gonna have to head to the... A certain area... Previously. So, this will take a bit. Let's go back to the missile tank. Crud. Really? You're following me? Dummy. Ugh. That was annoying. Get any missiles, please. I'm going to need these because Vision Metroids suck. The one thing I hate about the spike of difficulty in the end of the game is the Vision Metroids. Vision Metroids are the worst designed enemies in the entire series. Bar none. I've played every other Metroid game, and there's nothing more annoying than Vision Metroids. Because they are only weak to one element. Freaking you! Go away! I hate that. See what I mean? They're weak to one element every time you do it, and it always annoys me to no end. There is one way of beating them, just annihilating them entirely, though. Power bomb! 
literally is the only way to get rid of them outright without any sort of trouble. Thankfully, with the Phazon suit, Phazon is no longer an issue for us. We can actually just walk on the ground level and worry about platforming never. Though, I really, really don't like Fission Metroids. As you plainly can tell, I hate them beyond belief. We need to be in this tunnel for a reason. Remember that area that I didn't open before? Well, go down it because we're immune to ph the phase on now. We can actually bomb these outright and make sure to get an area we need to get to requirement of the game. It's going to take a little bit of bombs, but as soon as we reach the end of this, it's actually necessary for the end of the game. All right, come on, game. There it is. Shows our artifact acquired. The artifact of newborn, last of the 12. We have gotten at least five of them now. Only about a few more to go. Previously, I'm going to say right now, we can't go back up to the top, so don't worry about it too much. We don't even need the fungal access tunnel anymore. Thankfully, though, we can just go up to where we need to be and just continue on our path. We don't even need fungal access because there's nothing there for us. So I'm going to meet you guys back at the Omega Pirate Room. We're back here again, and by the way, this is actually where you're supposed to find the Fission Metroids the first time. So alas, up to me, I hate it. And Fission Metroids are my least favorite Metroid type, bar none, of course, like I said. But you want to know what's even worse? The best way to kill them is literally a power bomb, and the problem is you only carry so limited amount that it gets annoying, and they don't even drop anything when dead. So as a result of that, you're just basically wasting your time. Let's just activate this elevator. Platform activated. Thank you. Go all the way up, please. Thank you. Metroids will eventually try to engage us up here, though, so keep in mind. Yep, as you can tell, you heard her cry. Whenever you hear them cry, it means they spy you and try to get you. And this is an energy tank we got after the boss. If the game would load up the description, please. Energy tank acquired. Maximum HP 100. We have three more to go before we 100% all the energy tanks. And security gate disengaged. And even if you did bypass the Omega Metroid, Omega Pirates, you could not get past this area without it. By the way, in case you're wondering what happens if a Metroid hits a bad hey. You blasted nuisance. Ugh, I hate those things. Oh good, they die instantaneously. Where have I wished that would happen? Oop. The problem with this area, it's convoluted and annoying to climb all the way up. No, I am not kidding about my complaining about it, it's actually very true. <laughs> So, we just need to climb on these in order to get up. Be very careful, because there's space pirates over there, remember from previously. So, they're going to fire at you regardless. See? They're firing at us anyway. Ow! Wave, pirates! Oh good, they died. In case you're wondering why I'm saying, yeah, they're dead, uh, they fell into plasma. They fell into it. Oh, that's just rude. Get out of there. Pirate, these pirates like those actually die instantaneously when they fall into, say, oh, I don't know, Phazon. However, they also can die from height damage, so keep in mind. Red to red would be the maintenance tunnel that we were at previously. We could do that, or we could ignore it and not deal with it at all. I actually am going to look at the maintenance tunnel and see if there's anything over here. I believe there was nothing of interest. Yeah, there was nothing of interest. We're just going back to the elite control room that has nothing left for us and the ventilation shaft. So, I digress. I'm going back. I said I was going back. Uh... Up 
Samus, please. Thank you. Yeah, I, I changed my mind on that one. That was never a good idea. <coughs> that tickle in my throat is not going away. Alright, climb up here. We want to go to the left one because the right one actually has nothing for us. Keep in mind you can get shot like this, so yep, yeah, as you plainly see. Some things never change. Oh, of course! The most obnoxious pirate in the game. Wave Pirate. His friend known as Power Beam Pirate. Oh, good, he's falling. No more ha high ground. Thank goodness. Ugh. Those things drive me insane. Keep in mind that there are still things in this area that will drive you completely bonkers. Probably better do this way. Yeah, it was better to do that way. Jump over this way. Okay. Yeah, I hate this area by a nutshell. I hate it entirely. Because it's so mean. See what I mean? An arm turret right there with no rhyme or reason. Really, not necessary. So, let's just get out of here. Alright, up here. And then we need to jump up here. And jump up here. Wait for it. We need to wait for the platform to get back to us. Otherwise, we're going to fall down all the way to the bottom again. And have to go all the way back up. Boy, wouldn't that be fun? No, not really. It would be terrifying and horrible. Uh, you know, ironically enough, you can actually get to this area without the <laughs> this blasted grappling hook, but you can't exactly do anything else about it. Grapple beam about it. <laughs> but you don't really need the grapple beam after you get the phase on suit in certain areas. So now we're back down here. We can head back up to where we need to be last time, which is back to Manimal Caverns. Now, there is one area we have to go to, and I'm going to actually just cut ahead to that next area because that area is a requirement because you've seen those artifacts before. We need to actually go find them. <laughs> I shot the one guy aiming for the other guy, and they died. <laughs> Oh, Nintendo, what is whimsical about it? Oh, you can go in this back in this area again, and you can also have the grapple beam! To grapple hook all the way over, but even though I flubbed. Ah, of course it's just me. Now, at this spot, you notice a lot of the glass is just cracked for no reason, right? Power bomb here. You will never figure this out in your first playthrough. I have <laughs> been honest. It's kind of not obvious. But this is actually an optional power up for the ice beam. This, everyone, is the ice spreader, the ice variation of the plasma sweater and the other spreaders of wave spreader. So yeah, this basically uses missile tanks in order to use ice beam rapidly. It's very good for grinding down enemies like those annoying metroids, but I digress, it's not exactly the fun thing. Anyway, back to cutting. You think I'm remembering wrong again because knowing me, I probably would remember wrong, but this again because for some reason hardened back up. That's not normal, right? That's correct. Magmore, please just get out of the lava. I need to get rid of you. There we go. Exactly what I needed. I cannot kill that Magmore until I get closer, of course. Now another artifact has been acquired from Lava Lake. Shows an artifact acquired. This artifact is known as the Artifact of Nature, a eighth of the twelfth. We have gotten so many already. We just have five more to go. Actually, no, six more to go. I can't count today. Where are you? Classic. <laughs> go away. Ugh, I, I hate those things. Magmores, for some reason, are the most annoying enemy as well. Early game enemies, it's probably up there where annoying enemy. 
Now you're probably wondering why I'm going bothered all the way over this way, because A, there's a better pathway over that way. It's because outright... Right. So, so, this was only affecting stuff. Please! I jumped in the fire. Awesome job, me. <laughs> For the fire and the flames. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of this area. Because I know there's something we need to get over here. I have not gone this way at all. What you need to do is be in ball mode for this. To go into this area because it's actually important. So let's go in this way. You're going to stay in ball mode anyway, so it just doesn't matter really. So let's go over this way and open this door. A different room. Things I have missed, of course. Recording. You chose a lord to add to logbook. The future is a vague thing, ever changing and always in doubt. Even if we chose a could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what is yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come where its water dries up, and there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But we do not know of this. Unlike the uncertainty flow of the water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Choza will never run dry. Hmm, more lore indeed. Now then, because I haven't been here at all, you can actually access area very early. Bomb that. A gate. Blow that up. Bomb this. Another gate. Now, the game is going to tell you to power bomb, to bomb these at uh, a bomb jump. Bomb jumping is very easy. There you go. You can actually just jump the ball form and that makes things easier for you. And we get access to a missile tank upgrade, which for some reason is very extravagant, but I digress. Missile expansion. Unironically enough, I think this was supposed to be another Chozo lore area, but I don't think they have activated that. Well, well, let's just open this door and see if we have anything in here. Aha! Oh, the beetle shall reign supreme. All hail, beetle lord. Whatever, I was trying to be funny, and it worked. To a degree. Because I finally got the missile tank, energy tank that we were missing. Thank goodness, because that was driving me insane. However, I won't head all the way back. See you guys in just a second. Now we need to head to the pathway to the left. To your right after exiting. Destroy these honeycombs. Trust me, war wasps are annoying. Destroy these first so you don't drive yourself insane dealing with these war wasps. Endless hive. There we go, all of them are destroyed. The game is telling you that this cannot be destroyed by, except for Cordite. Missile tanks do not work. You want to use a super missile. This is an activation script. The ruin signal has been activated. This is Chozo lore we've missed, so let's go and grab this. Chozo script translated. The cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we Chozo watch the great poison seep even further into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waterers, devouring all life. These little beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutant monsters remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorged poison form its foul form, replacing pure water with caskets of creeping death. Even as we face the horror, we chose to do not turn in fear. We all are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it's our duty to contain it. Ah, that makes reference of the monster that we had dealt with before. Gordon right, let's just destroy this with some missile. There we go, runic symbol activated. There are four runic symbols, of course, so we have to activate each and every one of them. Oh, magnet rail, magnet rail, magnet rail, because they're actually hidden behind the pillars. You're probably wondering why am I bothering with this, because A, there's other ways to get back up there. The requirement is to open this all the way. Now these bugs will not die instantly. They are very annoying. 
The Oculus are immune to most damage. So we're going to have to be very careful, otherwise we're falling all the way to the bottom again. Hold up and do that. We're going to be very careful because A, it's very annoying. Ugh. Octos are so annoying and enemies... Ugh. Okay, there we go. Head all the way to the top. Chozo Ghost! Why is there a Chozo Ghost that's running away? Well. Go all the way up. Let's head back to the area where the Great Poison was originally spewing. To discover three Chozo Ghosts. Unusual, right? They appear from the plant. As your number, show the ghosts are settled to the X-ray visor. Use this against them, and then they will die quickly. Come on, just one of you die, please. I okay. Really? You're just gonna run out in circles, aren't you? Thank goodness, that was annoying. Whoa, boy. Saw you behind me. No way you're having that. Oh, hello. Nice try. I'll give you points for effort, if nothing else. Now, where is number three? No, oh, no, they're all dead. That is a requirement. And the door was sealed up because of that blasted enemy. Thank goodness we dealt with them. In case you're wondering if that ends the Chozo's ghost threat, it doesn't. It actually keeps them alive. So a clown is about this is a dead corpse. Chozo artifact acquired! The artifact of wild. Fourth of the twelve. Five more of these artifacts left to go. We have a lot more left. And very little things left we can do. This area still has a lot of things. The crossway has a lot, but the Hall of Elders is one more thing we need to get. But, to be honest, I'm actually going to head to the closest save room I can get to in Safe Station 2, and I'll be there. Alright, we're here. So, next time on Metroid Prime Remastered, we're going to head back to the main area of the Chozo area of Talon 4 and hopes in finding more artifacts. See you guys next time.